and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial video, we will be going over job zones and restrict zones in relationship to a model. Generally speaking, you'll use this when you're doing the roughing waterline operation. What I mean by job zone is you can dictate within a certain area where you want SprueCam to machine. And restrict zone does the exact opposite. It restricts it, it will not uh, machine within inside an area that you select. So without further ado, we'll get started here. You'll see I have a model oriented here and I've got a uh, workpiece around. Um, just to go into the parameters here, I've got a half inch cutter uh, with a length of two inches. Uh, feeds and speeds I'm not going to worry about in this case. I've got a spiral lead in. Parameters, I've got eight depth of cut. And that's really all we need to know. So we'll hit okay. Now if I just go up and hit reset and run, You'll notice that it does tool paths on the outside as well as the inside. Um, roughing Waterline will look at your entire model and machine everything it can. Let's say we only want to machine inside this pocket here with Roughing Waterline. What I can do is select this top edge right here. Uh, if, if your model only does half, make sure you hold down control and click both halves of that arc. And then come down here into job assignment, so right here and say job zone. You'll now see that there's a green circle around it. If I go up and hit reset and run, you'll now notice that it only machines inside of this hole here. Now let's say I only want it to machine on the outside and not on the inside here. First of all, I would delete this out of here. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either select the outside edge of this what I'm going to do is just select this hole again and say restrict zone and you'll see this big red tube there basically saying that the cutter will not go inside of this if I come up here and hit reset and run you'll now notice that the tool paths are only on the outside this can be really handy to keep tools uh, to keep the cutter the, the tool paths away from certain areas that you don't want it to go um, a lot of times I'll see uh, people use 2D geometry draw squares um, they can imitate clamps if you're using fixtures um, and the cutter will avoid you know if you draw a square here the cutter would avoid that square um, it can be really handy at times so um, I hope you guys use this and uh, this has been another sprue cam tutorial brought to you by sprue cam America and have a nice day